everyone myself hirok jyoti rai bhadani so today today in this video i will explain the catars pendulum experiment of bsc first semester physics honors so let's start the experiment so this is the aim of this experiment uh, to determine acceleration due to gravity by using catars pendulum and uh, we have to record apparatus uh, catars pendulum stopwatch meter scale and with the help of this formula that is g equal to 8 pi square by t1 square plus t2 square by l1 plus l2 plus t1 square minus t2 square by l1 minus l2 <coughs> we find the uh, acceleration due to gravity and where t1 is the time period about one knife edge of the pendulum and t2 is the time period about the other knife edge of the pendulum such that t1 is very nearly equal to t2 and l1 equal to the distance of one knife edge from the center of gravity and l2 is the distance of other knife edge from the center of gravity basically uh, this is scatter's pendulum and it consists of two cylindrical weight and this one the weight w1 and uh, knife edge one that is the k1 and this is the W2, weight 2 and NIBES 2, that is the K2 and this both are the adjustable mass and this is the made by wooden and this is made from the metal and the distance between from one NIBES to the end of the cater's pendulum is same in both sides. So now we uh, balance the cater's pendulum to um, find the center of gravity. So let's uh, balance the cater's pendulum in its side. So now you can see here this is the balancing position of cater's pendulum. Both the sides of the cater's pendulum is don't touch the table and uh, this point is the this point is the center of gravity and we marked here with the help of a chalk pencil so from the point of center of gravity to the knife edge k1 the distance is l1 which is i measure by the meter scale which is 48 centimeter and from the center of gravity to the knife edge k2 which is l2 and which is 52 centimeter now we can write here the distance of knife edge k1 from center of gravity l1 is 48 centimeter and mean of the l1 which is also the 48 centimeter and the distance of knife edge 2 from center of gravity l2 52 centimeter and the mean of the l2 which is also the 52 centimeter now we hang the cater's pendulum in the stand uh, to find the time period of oscillations and one thing you have to notice that the when you hang the cater's pendulum in the stand the cater's pendulum don't touch the wall let the cater's pendulum 4 to 5 degree to take 50 oscillations for knife hk1 and record the uh, time in stopwatch so let's start the experiment 1 2 3 4 5 6 46 47 48 49 50 you can see here in this stopwatch the time is uh, uh, 1 minute 26 second so if we convert the 1 minute 26 second in only second then uh, it should be approximately 86.30 and again uh, for the approximation we take 50 oscillations for knife edge uh, k1 and take 50 oscillation and record the time in stopwatch and if we convert the time in uh, only second then it, uh, the value approximately 88.00 in our experiment 
After that, we again uh, reverse the cater's pendulum for Nybeck K2. Nybeck K2 and take 50 oscillations uh, two times for approximation. So let's start the uh, experiment. Displacement uh, 4 to 5 degree. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now you can see here the time is uh, semi same, approximately same, 1, 1 minute 26 second and 56 uh, so if we convert this uh, only second then it should be 86.65 and again for the approximation we take 50 oscillation again for the naive k2 and put the value here and uh, similarly for the above uh, oscillations that is the 40 30 up to 5 oscillations we take uh, four times oscillations each of uh, one naive and uh, put the value here and after that uh, here the we have to find the time period about the naive edge for k1 and k2 and we know the formula of time period which is the time of oscillations by number of oscillations and if we divide the time of oscillations by number of oscillations we uh, find the value uh, these are the value and we put here this is the value and we have to find the time difference which is the uh, key, subtraction the lower time period uh, from the bigger one and put the value here so this is the reading for time periods t1 and t2 and uh, again in this uh, key, we have to uh, take three times 50 oscillations for naive edge k1 again and put the value here in second and for similarly for naive edge k2 we take three times for 50 oscillations and put the value here after that we take mean of this three value and write down here and similarly for k2 we write down here and again we have to find the time period about the naive edge in second and which is the capital t1 equal to uh, mean time by number of oscillations uh, which is 50 oscillations and write down the value here and for similarly naive edge k2 we have to find the time period which is the t2 equal to mean time by number of oscillations 50 uh, which is the this is the value now we have to find the result and putting the value all of t1 t2 l1 and l2 in equation 1 which is the small g equal to 8 pi square by t1 square plus t2 square by l1 plus l2 plus t1 square minus t2 square by l1 minus l2 and putting all the value of t1 t2 l1 and l2 after solving this problem we uh, get the value 10.08 meter per second square which is uh, not equal to the 9.8 meter per second square but approximately same to the uh, 9.8 meter per second square but this is not the same for 9.8 meter per second square so in this experiment uh, error is occurred so we have to find the error in this experiment so firstly we have to find the proportional error and the formula of proportional error uh, is del t1 square plus t2 square by t1 square plus t2 square plus del l1 plus l2 by l1 plus l2 and we can assume here that is the t1 is t1 and t2 is approximately same and after getting simplifies this equation as uh, uh, t1 and t2 is approximately same we get the del small g by small g equal to del capital t by twice capital t plus twice del l by l1 plus l2 and here del l equal to the 0 0.2 centimeter which is the two smallest division of a meter scale and here the time period capital t equal to small t by number of oscillations which is 50 and uh, we get here del capital t equal to 1 by 50 
del small t and here the del is the value of del small t equal to 0 0.1 second because uh, the smallest division of stopwatch is also the 0 0.1 second after putting all the values of proportional error can be we can be calculated from equation number 2 this is the equation and putting all the value here after solving this uh, problem we get the value of proportional error is uh, 0 0.00517 in our experiment again we have to find the percentage error of our Ketter's pendulum experiment so Ketter's uh, percentage error is uh, to the multiplication of uh, proportional error into 100 percentage and if we multiply to the 100 percentage with the proportional error we get this is the value and this is the percentage error of our experiment so this is all about our uh, Ketter's pendulum experiment so thank you so much